God is good. He loves us. And things that we can do can actually, um, we come out of God's covering and we can get demonized. We can get sick through things that we do. And sometimes it's through things that other people do. And sometimes it's just through, you know, the fallen nature, the fallen world since the time of Adam and Eve. We live in a fallen world, but we don't have to be subject subject to that fallen nature, that fallen world, that sinful nature any longer. Through Jesus, he paid the price. He took it on the cross. He died. He rose again through his body, through his blood that was shed for us. He bought us with that amazing price that we can live over, we can overcome these things and we can just push away the things of darkness and we can extend the kingdom of heaven everywhere that we go and that's what we love to do and that's what we want to train you in doing. So we're going to look at a couple of things today with regard to that. Now, so going back to Crystal's question, Crystal, you were asking, can a demon sit on someone's head and make it droop? Now, Straight away, I just, that reminded me of a woman in Jesus' time when he was on the earth, when he walked the earth. And it's in Luke chapter 13, verse 11, and it says this. There was a woman who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten. So whether it's your head that's down, whether it's your body that's, you know, you, you bent over. Sometimes you'll see people that are bent over or that even, it's just you feel like you've got a bit of a, um, a hunch back kind of thing going now don't get me started on my quasimodo impersonation um because i won't be able to stop <laughs> i scared rob one time <laughs> when i started doing that but it was just an impersonation it wasn't me it was just you know it wasn't anything manifesting <laughs> but i do a really good quasimodo impression but anyway so whether it's um you know you you just got this weight on you that's making you bend over or just not stand up tall that's a physical thing and in in luke 13 we see that um jesus met this woman who had that happening and actually what he did was and it says it was caused by a spirit it was an evil spirit a demon that caused her to be bent over and she could not straighten for 18 years imagine looking just looking at the floor for 18 years so but jesus wants you free he wanted her free and what the bible says is it's that was that jesus put his hands on the woman and he said be set free he just said be set free and the demon left the evil spirit left and she was completely healed and many times we've seen hundreds if not thousands of people receive instant miraculous healing when an evil spirit leaves so you may find that you've been you've got something physically wrong with you or mentally wrong with you and you or even or emotional and you want to get free from that thing you've been you've been praying god heal me of this condition heal me of this disease and you're not sure why it's not going yet well one of the blockages to you receiving your healing um because there's many blockages but one of them is the fact that it could just be a demon causing it and it's very simple you just got to realize that's all it is it's just a demon and i say this to so many people Oh, it's fine. It's just a demon. Obviously, it's not fine, but it's just a demon. As soon as you get through that demon, you'll be completely healed. And many of you today, in the next 10 minutes, are going to get free from demons and you're going to receive healing in your body and in your mind and in your emotions. So are you ready for that? Because this is what I love to do, is to help people get set free so that we want to activate and launch you into everything that God has for you. One day, I was in the cafe and... Um, we had this lady was sitting there and she'd, um, she told me, she was just a, a customer from the neighborhood and she said that she'd actually um, had a, suffered from a stroke, I think about six months before. And so I said to her, well, let me pray. And um, so I started to pray. And as I'm praying and telling all the stroke symptoms to leave, there's, a guy that we knew was coming in the door at the same time and he goes he goes into the corner of the cafe and as I'm telling the stroke symptoms to leave this woman I can hear him saying Alice Alice come and help me so I, I run over there and he says I'm having a stroke right now call an ambulance instantly I said it's just a demon because I knew because it had left the woman 
it must have left the woman as I'm telling the stroke symptoms to leave her it must have been a demon that came and jumped on him and so I said just tell it to go in Jesus name it's just a demon so he's having a stroke all the stroke symptoms are happening to him instantly he says demon leave in Jesus name and he's completely healed instantly no stroke no problem demons try they they operate and you don't always recognize that they're there but sometimes they'll come and try and throw things at you jump on you cause you to have physical problems and if you don't recognize it straight away then that thing can sit on you and you feel you think you've got something wrong with you too you go to the doctors and you get medication you come into agreement with it in whatever way you do and that thing is remains there and you wonder why you're not getting healed when you're getting prayed for so it's really important just to recognize when things are evil spirits now jesus you know already talked about the fact that he told um he released a woman from a, a demon that was it was a spirit of infirmity that was causing her to be bent forward she was she was bent double couldn't straighten for 18 years he set her free and she was healed another time there was a boy who had a deaf and mute spirit jesus said so it was actually a demon that was causing the boy to be deaf and to be mute he couldn't speak and very often you find that you have things like Tourette's syndrome it's just that's a demon there's so many things OCD is just a demon um, cancer is just a demon causing that so I've already mentioned migraine headaches fibromyalgia there's so many things that are caused by demons depression many forms of depression um, bipolar lots and lots of different things we want to help you to learn that really what the enemy is doing. We want to uncover the plans, the schemes of the enemy. And, you know, the Apostle Paul said we don't want to be unaware of the enemy, of the devil's schemes. And he does things that we just think are, that we think they're physical, natural things that we get sick. Well, we don't have to get sick. Things come at us, but we don't have to be under them. We don't have to be subject to this fallen sinful world anymore do you realize that wow wow that's through the power the blood of jesus what he's done so whether you know jesus or not you can be set free and healed right now but i tell you what if you want to go on remaining healed if you want to stay free you need to follow jesus you need to give your life to him so i would always you know the whole everything i do leads people to jesus it, it really is about Jesus and through the power of his spirit, the Holy Spirit. Just, you don't need me. I can help train you and activate you and show you things. But at the end of the day, it's the power of Jesus. It's not my power. And the more you lay down your life, the more you follow Jesus, the more you will find that you will be moving in um, signs and wonders and miracles as you step out in faith. And I, I really want to encourage you to do that. But I'm going to pray with you to help you. So don't look to me. It's not me doing the miracles. I'm just helping you get the revelation about who Jesus is and helping you to recognize some spiritual stuff and know what to do with it. So let's first of all, I just want to say that if you have some kind of condition or some pain in your body and you think it might be caused by a demon, um or some mental illness or whatever it might be then you need to take responsibility for that so it might have come at you during some kind of trauma it might not be that it came through sin although it may be it did or you were being disobedient to the lord it may have come in then however it came in i would still recommend that you ask god to forgive you for coming into agreement with that demon so are you ready to do that now who's ready so shall we all get free of demons all at the same time? So I'm just going to um, pray if you want to pray with me. So let's say this. Let's say, Father God, please will you forgive me for coming into agreement with any evil spirit that has caused, and then say what it is. If you've got a, some kind of condition, just name it and shame it. Father God, forgive me for coming into an evil spirit, a spirit of pain it could be, it could be um, a spirit of depression or despair, it could be a spirit of anxiety or fear, it could be any number of things, but you just say whatever is causing this condition, I command, well I first of all ask God to forgive me for 
me coming into agreement with that. So however I've done that, if I've spoken out that I've got this thing, if I've taken medication to try to suppress that thing, if I've, um, however it is, if I've believed the lies of the enemy over the word of God, you just confess that, say, God, please forgive me for doing that, for coming into agreement with that evil spirit in my life, and I command it to leave me right now in Jesus' name. So you just say that, I command that spirit that demonic spirit to leave me now in the name of Jesus. And as I'm going to pray, and you just take a deep breath in of the Holy Spirit. Okay, Holy Spirit, come in. And then on the count of three, one, two, three, out. Breathe it out or cough it out. Just get out right now. I take authority. You don't have to speak now. Just breathe in the Holy Spirit and just cough or breathe out that demonic thing. They're just, they're just evil spirits and we don't want to have them anymore. So I'm going to pray while you do that. And I release the power of the Lord Jesus. I take authority over every demon that is working in people that are watching this video right now. And I tell that thing to go in the name of Jesus. It's got to go right now. I can feel the presence of Jesus so strongly right now. Oh, wow. And... Wow, many of you are getting free right now. We just just tell those things to go. So I'm not going to have this anymore. So, you know, d evil spirit that's causing fibromyalgia, that's causing um, being to bent over. What were we talking about before? The, like hunched things, um, food intolerance. Very often, that's just a demon. It's a spirit of fear. It wants to stop you having enjoying food. I love food. You know, we've got to enjoy what we eat. So anything that's stopping you doing something or causing problems in your life or that you can't do everything that you're supposed to do, very often it's just a demon trying to stop you. So don't have it anymore. So don't come into agreement with it. Just get rid of it right now. Those things come out, leave, go, go to Jesus now. In Jesus' name, you cannot stay. Thank you, Jesus. And we release the power of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Come. Now, come and fill us, breathe in the Holy Spirit. Out with the demons, in with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and have fun. We just release joy right now. This should be fun. It's not a heavy thing. You're getting free. This is going to change your life. Honestly, this has the potential to change your life. You don't need to be the same ever again. You can be completely healed now by being set free, just like Jesus did when he walked the earth, just like his disciples did. So we release the healing power of Jesus into your body right now. Just receive it. Put your hand on that part of your body that needs healing and receive the healing from Jesus. Not from me, from Jesus. He loves you so much. Father God loves you so much. I've got to say, actually, if those things try and come back, then just don't have them. You've got to fight it sometimes. You've got to say you are not coming back. But if you don't know Jesus personally... You don't have the power to stop it coming back. However much you try to stop it coming back, it might well come back if you don't know Jesus personally. So you've got to give your life to Jesus. So anybody out there that does not know Jesus, just let me know right now and we'll pray with you so you can give your life to Jesus right live with us right now. So just message on here. If you don't know Jesus personally and you would like to do that now, then I'll try and keep an eye on here and we can do that together. So just test those things out if there's something you could not do before just have a go if you've got to get up bend over move around move your neck shoulders see if it you know you have a spirit of deafness it might have been a spirit of blindness we just tell those things to go and you just speak to them tell them to go and do something you could not do before we release the power of jesus right wherever you are we release it in the name of jesus Oh, wow. Can you feel the presence of the Holy Spirit right now? He's so wonderful. He loves you. He loves you so much.